Netscaler 9 includes many new features, one of which are application templates. We are starting here with a bare Netscaler, and we have downloaded a SharePoint application template from the Citrix community website. We have imported that template into the Netscaler, and you can see that it has automatically configured the Netscaler for optimization of SharePoint traffic. All we have left to do now is set the front end public IP address that clients will use to access the SharePoint application. We're going to use port 80 for HTTP communication and port 443 for HTTPS communication to the SharePoint application. And we'll do this using a certificate that had been previously configured on the Netscaler. Once this is complete, we will configure the backend or SharePoint server IP address to which we will send all traffic from the Netscaler. And then we will select a health monitor to be used to monitor the state of the SharePoint servers, whether they will be up or down. Here we also select the load balancing method and persistence method that we want to use with the servers. The application template is pre-configured, but we can customize it. For example, if we want to compress documents, we simply, simply select compression and turn on a policy that's been pre-configured. Or in the case of images, we can insert our own policy, give it a name, and under expression just set the value to true just to enable it and from that point forward we are now caching all images for the SharePoint application. We can save the configuration and at this point the Citrix Netscaler is set up for application optimization of SharePoint.